So two days ago, there's a new ring season set drop. And as we all know, the main World Series reward was none other than Willie Mays. But something that a lot of people overlooked was in the Pennant Race Pack, they dropped a 99 overall budget beast. And today, we're adding him to our God Squad. And the first I'm talking about is 99 overall Gavin Lutz. So he has 114 contact against righties, 91 against lefties. He also has 108 power against righties and 98 power against lefties. He also has diamond defense over at second base with the 90 fielding, 82 arm strength, 87 reaction, and 80 speed. So this is an extremely balanced card, something that you don't typically find at second base with the high power, high fielding, and really good speed. Our lineup for the video, we're gonna have Mickey Mantle back in our lineup, playing center field leading off, Gavin Lux hitting second, playing second, Mike Trout hitting third, Griffey hitting fourth, Jimmy Fox fifth, Babe Ruth sixth, Tati seventh, and Corey Seager rounding out our lineup, hitting eighth. If you guys have been enjoying the videos, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you guys like the video and let me know down below what you guys are going to do with Gavin Lux. Is he going to be starting for you? Is he not going to get to see your God Squad because of guys like Hornsby, Alberto Mondesi, all those other second basemen? Let me know down below what you guys think of this card. As we find our opponent, he also has Corey Kluber on the mound. He has Mickey Mantle, Jose Ramirez, Trout, Babe Ruth, Corey Seager, Griffey, his cap, his pitcher hitting eighth, and Tatis round out the lineup hitting ninth. We got Gavin Lutz. Let's see what he can do. Another guy played in Forbes Field? What is going on? Two videos ago, we played in Forbes, and now we're playing in Forbes again? Are you kidding me? I cannot believe we're actually playing in Forbes right now. Again, why are people picking this field? I think this is my second game out of the last four in Forbes. Insane. Oh, that's a dot from him. Great pitch. All right, Gavin, come on. Let's hit a moonshot in Forbes one time, huh? So far, all versions of Gavin Lux card have really, really good swings. So I'm expecting pretty good things from this 99 card. I've been so early on outside pitches recently. He swung at that? See ya! Okay, since J-Ram's so small, a lot of the times this fastball out of the zone works. See if he swings at it. He swung at it. He almost hit Griffey. Thank you, Griffey. Can I locate? It's a good spot. Yes, I can. See ya! All right, Griffey. Last time we played in fourth, you hit a moonshot. Time to do that again. You did it again. That better be gone. It is. To the moon! Ken Griffey Jr. is insane! Jimmy? Ah, I just missed that. That's a good pitch right on the black. Can I not miss sinkers right down the middle, please? Especially with Babe Ruth. Tatis is two for 10 with two singles since I prestiged them. I need to see some pop. Or not. Or not. Or I'll just check swing right to the third baseman. That works too. That's an insane pitch. Seager. Seager, you need to get yourself out. Or not. I'm gonna throw that same pitch. He's swinging at it this time. <sighs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. We know a late hit's coming. Let's just wait for it. Or we're gonna dot him. I'm gonna need Seager to make that play. Seager, run faster! Thank you very much. He has his pitcher hitting ace, so there's no reason for me to face his cap. Might as well just face his pitcher with two outs here. Oh my god, that was right down the middle. We're not missing that. I, I was gonna say, if that ball's caught, first of all, it should be a moonshot. Of course, it's only not a moonshot here. At least we got a triple though, two out triple. We've got a guy at third for you, Gavin, come through. Oh, that's right down to- No! Another just late hit for Seager. Alright, ground it to a double play, Griffey. Okay. You asked for it and you shall receive. Wow, I'm late on that? 
This is really bothering me. Look at the standard fielder. His socks keep going from high socks to low socks. It is really bothering me. Why do I keep lining out? Do you guys see that though? Okay, you can't see it now, but before the center fielder socks would go high, low, high. Look, it's still happening. That shit is annoying. I suck. Uh -oh. Right down the middle. Why don't my earlies get rewarded? All my earlies are just pop outs or ground outs. His early is a moonshot. Good take, Christian. Wow, that's a great swing by Mickey. We have two guys on, no outs. Our debut player up. We need a moonshot. He hung it. Oh, let's go. We'll take some cheese. Our debut player come through with an RBI single. He did a slice up. I knew he was going to throw an off speed, so he sat back, and it's going to be an easy run scored there. It's a great at bat by Trout. Oh my, it's a pop up. I know I'm early on, but that's a pop up. Oh my god, how did I miss that? That was such a hanger. Oh, I just cannot hit anything right now. I really can't. At least we got Gavin Lux one more at bat in the ninth inning. Hopefully, he hits a moonshot for us. We're getting him swinging and missing at the slider. Guaranteed. There it is. See ya. Rivera, are you going to strike out the side or what? Yes, you are. No. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? That's a pop-up! That's a foul pop-up! Time out. I was on the good side of good and I fully squared it up. And you're telling me that is not only a pop-up, but a foul pop-up? Blow it by him. See ya! GG! I don't usually do this. Usually when I get a nine inning game, I just call it there. But we didn't get to see much from Gavin Lux, so I'm gonna jump into another game and see what he can do in game two. So we jump into another game. Our opponent's lined up this time. He has Hershizer in the mound and he has a complete God Squad, Trout, Griffey, Mantle, Fox, his cap, Seager, Tatis, and Posada. Hopefully we get more out of Gavin Lux this game and he takes a trip to the moon. People just are picking the weirdest fields all of a sudden. I just cannot hit today. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about Gavin. It's the second time we're fully squared up a ball and it's a pop-up. Trout, are they gonna find a gap? Who's this left fielder? Is that Mickey? What's crazy is that's the same swing I had with Gavin Lux. His is a, a line drive up the middle. Mine's a pop-up to center field. Four. Good pitch. That's a nasty pitch. All right, Mickey. Do not let him tag up the third. Get behind the ball and throw it the third. You got behind it. Thank you. I don't know what to throw here. I feel like he's going to crush anything I throw. That's right down the middle. Got Just not locating this early in the game. Throw him out a second, Mike. Throw him out a second, Mike. Or not. That's such a good pitch. See ya! Gotta get Seeger out here. Keep it to one run. And we did. That was a check swing. That was a good ending right there. That was a great pitch. All right, Al. Do not put this over the middle of the plate. You almost did, but at least it got in enough on the hands for a fly out to Mike Trout. So we got two outs, no pitcher hits. Okay, he went, so we got 0-2 count. We're going to go to the sinker up and away. Let's blow up by him. See ya! I just don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. We're squaring up the ball, and it's just hit so damn softly. Look at this pitch. I fully squared that up, and it was just an easy line out to right field. I just don't get it. I know it's dotted and everything, but 
Why is it hit with such low exit velos? That's all I want to know. Finally, we found a hole with Corey Seager. Oh, f that's a double play. We're putting on a hitting clinic in this video. We really are. All we need to do is get the dub and hopefully Gavin Lux hits a moonshot at some point. I don't know if it's possible with the way the exit velos we're getting today, but you know, maybe we can find a unicorn. I can't leave a pitch down the middle to Griffey. That's not gonna be turned, but at least we get the lead runner. That was an insane pitch. How'd he hit it that far? Let's go, Trout. All right, we're through three innings. It's 1-0. We got the top of our order up. I just want any ball to drop at this point. I don't care if it's a late hit, because we've taken some good swings. We're not getting rewarded. I just want to get rewarded for anything at this point. That's not caught, right? Thank you to the moon. We were rewarded for something. You love to see it. Now, Gavin, you have a great swing, but I need you to hit a line drive or something, not just pop it up. You popped it up. Okay, Mike Trout, just doing what you do. Oh my God, Ken Griffey Jr. Wait a second, wait a second. Thank you to the moon! Ken Griffey Jr. does it again. We take a two-run lead. Oh my God, that's gonna drop. That's gonna drop. The cheese! I asked before the inning, can I just get some balls to drop? And now everything's dropping. Oh, we raised the PCI. I think that's gonna be another double play. But at least we finally got rewarded for some swing that we dropped three runs that inning. I feel better now. It's okay, we'll just get on the pop out to Mike Trout instead. Corey Sink, I, I'm really starting to think that Seeger swings a noodle. Great inning by Al. What am I even swinging at with Tatis right now? I just don't know. Great pitch. Look at Al Lighter trying to hit one to the moon. It was close, Al. It was close. That was such a good pitch. Griffey? That's a great reaction by Griffey over there. What a play. Hmm. I guess I'm going to keep throwing that cutter. It's been working so far. And it continues to work as we jam him again. He pops it up to Seeger. Gotta get this low and out of the zone. And it might not be. It is as he grounds it out the babe. All right, five quality yeah. innings from Outlighter. We got the top of our order up. Mickey Mantle, Gavin Lux, Mike Trout. Gavin, do not pop it up. All I want is for you to go to the moon. We find another hole with Mickey. Another bad swing by me. Can that go out? Okay, I'll, wait, wait, Mickey. I'll take the double. I was gonna say, is that gonna be a line out? That works. If he has the infield back, we'll take the rollover to second base and take the run scored at this point. Oh my God, we did not miss that to the moon. Wow, that is unhittable. I don't know if you meant to throw that, but that's dirty. Do not throw that pitch. Are you kidding me? Oh, two, you throw a meatball. You just put it on a platter. You put the pasta. You put the marinara sauce. You put the meatballs, and we just ate it all. Ma -ma 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 -ma. Gavin, can you at least play some defense? You can. I didn't die. That's not gone. No way. Oh, I feel bad. That should be a moonshot for sure. He got all of that pitch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that's not gone. He did pick this field, so it could be that, but that ball should be sent to the moon 100 out of 100 times. 
Tatis! If you can't hit, at least you're playing some defense! Oh, that's not a good swing. I wish this Andrew Miller had a changeup. He'd be so nasty with a changeup. Uh, well, that kind of stinks. That was not a good swing. But you know what? It brings up Gavin. Look, can I get... I'm not going to ask for anything. We're just going to try to let it happen. Ooh, there it is. Perfect, perfect. Back up the middle. Mmm, that hurts. Corey Seager swings a noodle. Surprise, it's not a moonshot. Mickey, I need you to get on your horse. You did. It keeps working, so we're going to keep throwing it. Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, why do you got to do him so dirty? Hold up. The cheese! Oh, wow. Best pitch in the game. Fast one on the middle. Are we going to take a chance and go to third here? Nah, no reason. Perfect, perfect. Back up the middle. Are we going to test Griffey? 85 speed? Yeah, we're going to test Griffey. He's not going to throw us out, right? No, he's not. Oh my god, Corey Seager finally did it to the moon, lefty, lefty, we are sitting on a fastball, and oh boy, we didn't miss it. Oh, no, wait, huh? Wasn't that a yellow throw? How was that a perfect throw? I don't care. GG. So we end up at 818 rating. So we're getting closer and closer to Willie Mays. Gavin Lux as I'm going two for nine in his debut with only two singles. I'll say this about this card. I took a lot of bad swings today. So a lot of the outs were on me and I'll say that right away. He's going to crush righties. He's going to be pretty average against lefties with a 91 contact, at least at the higher levels. If you play typically at All-Star or Hall of Fame, this card should rate for you. He's going to play great defense. He has 80 speed. This is a very, very good card. And if you can get the pennant race, you get him for free. And if you don't get the pennant race, he's going to be 5,000 stubs. And he's a card you can put at second base. He's extremely cheap. And he should be, he should do well for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys liked the video. And as always, if you guys have not yet turned on those notification bells, make sure you guys are turning those on to get notified when every video goes live. And until next time, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm out.